Why didn't the CBC broadcast last night's leaders debate? It was the best debate yet in the federal election campaign. It seemed like the most urgent because it was about foreign affairs and whether it's Russia's invasion of Ukraine or terrorism here in Canada or our CF-18 jets attacking the, terror, the Islamic State or the million Muslim migrants in Europe, all of those are pressing issues. Plus, all three leaders really did justice to themselves and their parties. I think the huge audience in the room probably made them better. It was at Roy Thompson Hall, which holds thousands of people. And the host, uh, Rudyard Griffiths, did a great job moderating. Congratulations to him and the Monk Center, named after philanthropist Peter Monk, for hosting this as a public service. Last night, I gave you my hot take on the substance of the debate. If you missed it, you can watch it by clicking here. But my point today is, why didn't the CBC broadcast last night's debate? If you turned on the CBC, you saw the Murdoch mysteries. I mean, good show, but seriously, it's three weeks until the federal election, foreign affairs is a top issue, and the CBC just simply refused to broadcast the debate? Even we broadcast the debate. The organizers made it publicly available for free. We just embedded the streaming video right on our website at The Rebel. We didn't even have to pay them a dollar. It was generous of them, but it was also smart of them. Now a larger number of Canadians who hadn't heard of the Monk Center before know about it, might get involved. So we here at the Rebel.media hosted it. Other small TV broadcasters did, like CPAC and CHCH in Hamilton, but why not the giant CBC? They get more than a billion dollars a year in handouts because they claim they're a public broadcaster with the public interest at heart. So where was their public interest last night? We know the political reporters at the CBC were interested in it. Here's Rosemary Barton, the host of the CBC's politics show, saying on Twitter, quote, man, I hope people are watching this. Yeah, if any other Canadian had said that, that would be fine. But the actual host of the CBC's politics show is saying that? That's either pitiful or disgraceful or dishonest. If she really wanted Canadians to watch the debate so badly, why didn't she put it on her TV station? Like other TV stations did, like our little website did. We didn't ha even have to pay. And even if the CBC would have been asked to pay a little bit of money, so what? They've never hesitated at spending our money before. They have a budget for TV shows. Look, the CBC always says they're special. They always say they're better than everyone else in the media because they care about Canada more than anyone else. That's a lie. But it's their official alibi for taking all that government cash. Wasn't last night devastating to their claim of being a public broadcaster? Seriously, the Murdoch mysteries instead? This isn't just a moral question. It's a legal question. The only reason we shovel bales of money into the CBC's furnace is because of Section 3 of the Broadcasting Act that says they will cover the kind of public interest Canadian content others won't. The debates were even bilingual for heaven's sakes, but the CBC refused. You know what? I'm glad, because they just proved my point. The CBC isn't special. They're not better. They're not more Canadian. They don't provide any useful service that others don't provide. And now we know they can't even beat a rinky-dink little startup website like ours. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.